Okay, I've been ranting and raving lately about the plight of small business in the United States. New York City just shut down indoor dining. It's like, how do you expect these people to survive? How are restaurants going to survive? They're already on their last legs, and you're pulling the plug on them. And nobody seems to care in the government. Or at least they're not doing anything, acting like they care. No plan, no relief, no bailout. It's like, what's going to happen? So I was ranting and raving about it. Marcus Lamont has challenged me. He's like, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Well... I've spent the last couple days doing exactly that. So we're going to donate half a million dollars and we've come up with a plan. Is it the best plan? No. The best plan is the government getting off their ass and issuing relief billions of dollars to these small business owners who are losing their livelihoods and have no recourse and no way to save it through no fault of their own. Billions of dollars. That's the solution. That's the only solution, really. But barring that, we're going to do what we can. So the Barstool Fund. It is modeled around Frankie Borelli. You know Frankie. All right, Frankie, where we at, Frankie? My cameraman for the pizza reviews. Well, his dad owns Borelli's in Long Island. The perfect example of the type of business we're trying to save. Throughout this pandemic, I'm mean, like, hey, Frankie, how's your dad doing? How's Borelli's doing? Every month, it gets a little bleaker. Um, tell you what, this is 30 years old, single restaurant, and they have no indoor dining. So not only that, but Mr. Borelli, credit to him, who would never want to take a handout in his life, also is still paying his employees. He's never shut off his payroll. So it's like, I'm going down with the ship. I can't fathom not paying these people. That's rule one. I was inspired by that. That's rule one. To qualify for money from us, you have to still be paying your employees. Your payroll has to be on. All right? So that's rule one. And then after that, it's... What do you need the money for? How much do you need to get to the next month? Is it rent relief, tax relief? What do you, what can we do to make sure you stay in business till this pandemic is over? So we've half a million dollars. We're asking for, and Borelli's will be the first one. Now, Mr. Borelli is actually going to give us a number where we can make meals, chicken and rice, and give it to the homeless because he just doesn't want the handout. He wants to put his people to work. That's great. Not a requirement. But great, the requirement is your payroll has to be on. Your employees have to still be getting paid. So if you meet that and you're a small business that's been around for a little bit, or maybe not, but it's a gym, restaurant, bar, and you're not going to be able to survive the next couple of months, send us an email, barstoolfund at barstoolsports.com. We're clearly not going to be able to help all of them. We're going to start with our half a million dollar fund that we have, pick restaurants. Now, this part is very uh, important. Once we pick you, let's use Borelli's as an example, we cut you the check to get you through January. If February rolls around and we're no better, March, each month we will continue to cut you a check for how much you need to stay in business till this thing's over. We don't want to just, you know, what good does it do to help you for two months and then disappear and go out of business the next month? It doesn't. I don't care how I get the money. If I need to raise more money, if I have to pay it myself, whatever it is, I'll get creative, but once you are in our program, we will pay whatever you need, the, the necessities you need, the money you need to get through this thing and give you a fair chance to run your business. These people aren't going out of business because they're not successful or not making money. It's because they have no other choice. They've been dealt a hand that nobody could play. Um, so that's it. So send it. Now, the second part of this, we have our initial half a million dollars and we'll take money from any businesses, groups that want to support this because then we can help more. But after we're done with that original half a million, we have a GoFundMe, not GoFundMe because they take a huge fee, but the similar setup. It's a white label, far less fees taken out of it. And we will put somebody up. So let's say it's restaurant X that says we need 30 grand this month to make it to the next 10 grand, whatever it may be. We'll do the GoFundMe. Stoolies can donate and we'll go till we hit that amount that they request, and then we'll give them the money. I think they actually get it directly from the GoFundMe or GoFundMe, and then we'll put the next restaurant up. And once we hit that number, we'll put the next business up. So we're gonna try to save as many businesses, small businesses as we can. Keep the employees getting paid, keep the owners in business till this thing is over. And hopefully we can save as many small businesses as humanly possible. I know this all started out of New York canceling or shutting down indoor dining. I'm a Boston guy. There's trouble there. So it doesn't have to be New York. If you have a small business and you need help and you've been around and you are at your wit's end and you are still paying your employees, send us. 
Again, Barstool Fund at BarstoolSports.com. We're going to be setting up a website where you can see the businesses we profile. We're going to choose the ones that we can help uh, the best, most effectively. There's no right or wrong reason why we're choosing one business versus the other. They speak to us for whatever reason. Again, I wish we could help them all. We're going to help as many as we humanly can and try to keep you know, these small businesses alive. So that's the plan. Is it perfect? Probably not, but it's better than nothing. So support it. Barstool Fund at BarstoolSports.com. If you're a small business owner, you need help, reach out. Hopefully we can help you.